Hey guys, it is Greg again. I'm going to do this uh, update on Veracity because um, I think last time I did it, it's made a, a significant change. Um, it dropped a lot more. So maybe, uh, you know, that's going to help actually a little bit, but I was just going over it briefly. Um, you have this structure here, this structure uh, here, and then this structure, and then, you know, it's in a correction. And some people probably have some questions on uh, Veracity. You know, what exactly is it doing? So first, I want to uh, break the myth of people think this is a bullish move. It's not. This is a corrective move up. So you can see this, uh, this peak to this peak here is a five-way move down. And then this move here is, uh, this is a corrective move up. I don't think that this, and it's already taken it out. So you have confirmation that that was a corrective move. So if this was an impulse move, like a one, it wouldn't have broke the low. So I think last time I was doing this video, it hadn't broke the low yet or something. I can't remember exactly. I have to go back and look at it. But see, this is a corrective move up, and this move here confirms it. So this is an ABC up, okay? So this whole thing is a correction. Very similar, uh, guy mentioned very similar to Bitcoin, it looks like right now. Um, now you're going over this, this is definitely an impulse move. You see your third wave is right there and it went up and completed its fifth wave right there and it's correcting this whole area. So you can see it's a, a three-way move, a three-way move and now a three-way move. So it did a WXY more than likely like this, WX and now it's down for a Y. So the question is, is it coming in for to finish up a, a correction? Let me take a look at that real quick. It's more than likely it's like uh, some other coins are like in a fourth wave bounce. It's it look like to me. Um, it's going to be hard to. Yeah, so more than likely it's in some sort of fourth wave bounce, possibly. So you see there's no divergence there. So it came down in that third wave. So it's bouncing up. These fourth waves can take a long time, guys. So it's like one, two, three, four, and then five. So like this. More than likely, I would that would be my guess because there's no divergence down there on the uh, the smaller time. Well, let, let me check the smaller time frame to be sure. Third wave there. Uh, I take that back. I take that back. There's divergence right there. So it could be it could be a fourth from um, multiple sequences. It could be a fourth and come back down a little bit more. But on the higher time frames, you can see there's no divergence, which is good for a three wave move like this. You don't want to see that divergence from from here to here, and it's lower. So it's in some probably some sort of local bottom. So from here, you see that, see that? And then this is over here and it's lower than that. So that's good on that three-way move, this massive three-way move that it made. So it's probably in like some sort of local bottom to bounce back up and then swing back down over here. But the good news with this coin I was looking at is it came down really nice in that RSI in this area and took out all of that. So that's good for this coin. And I double checked it on, uh, if you come over here, I double checked it on uh, where I have all the data over here too. So really, really good, down nice and deep. So it's probably in some sort of a uh, local bottom or a, I don't wanna say bottom bottom quite yet, but there you could see some possibly some upside. So it might swing up and come back down, up again, take that all out and that right there. If you see that, if it comes up and takes all this out again, and then you'll know that that's probably the end of the correction for a coin like this. So um, go over that. So what, what I was going to do is um, it's very hard to make this a, a wave one. So like this, where this would be a wave, a wave one, and then it's coming down for a two. And the reason why that is, guys, is that this, uh, this correction over here, if you take the retracement up to that wave, more or less, you know, no matter how I place it, I can't count that way. I got to count it right there. It hasn't come to 50%. So more than likely, this is a fourth wave. 
more than likely. So what you want to see, if you want this coin to be bullish, in my opinion, you want this to come back up and then take this all out and come back down here, guys. So then this will be a one, two, and then I'll be going into a third wave. That's what you want to see with this coin. If it stays in this area, if it's done and it stays up here, more than likely it's a, it's a fourth wave. So like over here, somehow, like it did a move over here, a, a one, a, a one, two, or, or something like this, a drawn out one, two, I'm not going to count those wicks. So I'll count it here. And then this is a three. And then over here would be a four and it will go up for a five. That's the other option. Okay. But if you want it to be bullish and it goes into a third wave, you want this price action to come down, okay? You want this to come back up and come back down, take all this out and have the price action down here where it is at least 50% on this retracement of this leg. And then, so down here to 0 0.0044 or more, and then this will turn into a wave one, two but it looks like more like a fourth wave to me than a second wave. So if it's not, then it's like a one, two. Are those wicks? Let me see, are those wicks? Yeah, those are wicks guys. So no, they're not wicks. So that that's, yeah, this structure is just not making sense to me. Um, Cause you can't say one, two, and this is three, four, it's too big. It's too big. So, um, and you can't say this is one, two, this is too small and this is too big. And then you can't say this is one, two, cause the, those aren't wicks. So more than likely, more than likely just have a, an estimated guess of what's going to happen with this coin is it's, it's going to do, uh, maybe a move like this, pop back up, come back down to this area and then on the RSI come up, take all that out, reset, reset the whole cycle, reset everything. And then this can turn into a one, two like this guys. So like this, this can turn into a one, two. That's what you want to see with this coin. If you want to see price appreciation over here, that's what you're going to want to see in my opinion. So that's my quick little update on this coin. If it does, then it can go into a third wave move you know, and make some serious, you know, massive gains like this guy. So this will be your wave, your wave one, come down for two. And then, you know, you could start seeing price action back up to that eight cents area, you know, up in these areas again on that next move, 13 cents. So, um, you know, and then start getting some uh, serious gains, you know, let's say it's in this area and then, you know, you know, 20 X or something like that, guys. That's what you want to see. That's what, that's what I would want to see if I was going to be going. So for me, if I was going to be going into this coin, I want to see this to get into this. Otherwise this structure over here, some strange count is going on and this is a, some sort of four and I'll be going into a five, not to say there will be price appreciation in that fifth wave move. There will be, but I'd rather be in, in a third wave move. Thanks for watching. Peace.